Hello and welcome to the first episode of Dopecast. Dopecast is a comedy video game podcast where we discuss video game news, talk about new releases and discuss other video game related topics. With me today I have Shimuri and Kraya. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Well, hello, I'm Shimuri. I'm 19, I'm a 19 year old Finnish student and I use most of my free time playing video games. And I'm Kraya and I'm 17 year old English boy. And I currently work full time and I'm going to be going back into education soon. Alright, that sounds great. So Shimuri, what games are you playing right now? Well, at the moment I think well Skyrim, like everybody else in the world. And Obviously. Yep. And Dota 2 and Street Fighter, pretty much. Those are the top top three games I play right now. Alright. Uh, what about you, Kraya? What are you into right now? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be really original and say Skyrim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Battlefield 3 I got a bit late, but that's pretty fucking awesome. And uh, playing Terraria a bit, checking out the updates and shit. So, are there any games you guys are looking forward to right now? Any new releases coming up? Uh, well, pretty much all the releases that I've been waiting for have, like, they just came out, like Saints Row, and the only thing I'm actually looking forward to now is Guild Wars 2, really. All the other ones, I think, have already come out pretty much in the last month or so. Yeah, that's true. There has been a lot of new games like Skyrim and Saints Row and Battlefield and everything, really. What about you, Kraya? Any games you're looking forward to at this point? Um, As I'm a MOBA fan, Dota 2, and <clears throat> if you want to, like, leave me a key, the my email will be... Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, poor Cryer doesn't have his Dota 2 key, but everybody else does. Duh. But apparently it isn't that good, but you gotta try it, you know? Yeah, it's still in beta though. I think it has potential of being really good, but I prefer Hon at this point, Heroes of New Earth. It's just a shame that the um, S2 is so fucking terrible. I just want to play a game that where people actually listen to the community and shit, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, well, the thing about S2 is gold coins. Yeah, <laughs> gold coins. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the like that's the thing that began the downfall. I think. Yeah, complain about gold coins, buy them two weeks later. That's me, rather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the, seriously, they'd be putting out so much else avatars that need gold coins. It's just I don't know. They shouldn't be capitalizing on it. I think they're just trying to squeeze as much money out of the game as possible now before Dota Two comes out. Um, they probably lose a big chunk of their audience once Dota 2 gets released. Yeah, that's true too, I guess. I didn't really understand the free-to-play move though, really, because they had a really strong fan base. Yeah, it's true. That also actually brings up the point of it actually just destroying the whole bracket system, because people from 1090 PSR can actually just start a new account. Yeah, so, exactly. And I... all those people got mixed up, so I... <sighs> yeah. I think they just should have expanded their trial system instead, made it a bit better, so you can actually play matchmaking in that with the trial accounts. This free-to-play move has kind of ruined a lot of things for the upper tiers of uh, matchmaking, in my opinion. Yeah. And also, S2, so angry at you for not implementing the... When you... When the fail comes up from a game you wanted to join with the matchmaking... Oh, uh, yeah, when the matchmaking we, group fails. Oh, yeah, God. We really should be put back to the group at least, or <laughs> at the front of the line. Seriously. Yeah. You, I looked at the patch notes, I, I don't know, a while ago, and it said they implemented it, but it's not in a game. <laughs> yeah. What did you do? That was one of the first things I noticed about Dota 2, because, like, my queue kept failing, but I could just, like, AFK, and I would just keep getting put forward in the queue. Without having to requeue every single time. Yeah. Uh, any, anyway, I think uh, we're getting a bit off topic here. So, uh, <laughs> how about we move on to the next segment, which is video game news? Well, I guess we'll be talking about Minecon. Minecon? Followed. <laughs> yes. So yeah. many delicious topics here. So much delicious drama. Oh dear. Yeah. So oh, many God. tasty Asperger's. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh dear. It's like your whole face is just melting while you're watching the Yogg's cast interviewing Notch. It's just, it's great. It's, oh, that interview is so deliciously awkward. <laughs> it's so <laughs> hilarious. 
gets so bad at the point like they start discussing a table that's like right in front of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh it's god. Terrible. Oh, the ending where they like start rubbing their hands on their knees and then do that like <laughs> tower thing and just hold it for so long. <laughs> it's so awkward. Yeah, they they were kind of trolling Notch a bit, weren't they? I, I wonder if that's why Notch like started tweeting a bunch of bad shit about them. The, well, the one thing that Notch said was that Yoxcast actually wanted money where others didn't. I think... I wonder if he got that from the interview, because at some point, uh, I don't know if you remember, but they said something about people never paying them for anything they do. That's yeah. probably not his Asperger's talking, because <laughs> they they said that they just wanted a room to stay in, not money or anything. Yeah. Yeah, they had like 11 people or something there, and all of them actually bought the ticket. They didn't even get the tickets for free, which is just oh, but... kind of weird. Yeah, it kind of is. Since, well, I'm not saying that... I actually don't like when people say that Yoxcast made Minecraft. No, no. I well, wouldn't say that. It's, it certainly it's, helped. It's, it, it brought a lot of players to the game, of course, but I wouldn't say, because then again, I'm not sure, did actually Minecraft, bo- I think it boosted a lot of the Yoxcast channel, like, yeah. years. Yeah, Minecraft helped Yoxcast a lot, and Yoxcast helped Minecraft a lot, but... Uh... Yeah. Really, uh, Minecraft started on uh, something awful forums and uh, 4chan V, where it just started getting like viraled by uh, people who enjoyed the game. There were like a bunch of threads every day on uh, V about Minecraft, and then people started buying it. Internet hipsters loving their sandbox games, man. <laughs> More like them, them Aspies or them autists. <laughs> Can't stack blocks every day, all day, every day. You say ass piece. Yeah, ass piece. <laughs> ass- <laughs> what? <laughs> um, what? What? I, I, I'm confused I know, I've now. I've never heard that before. What's an ass piece? No, uh, one, one ass pee. One. <laughs> one an, an, an ass pee is someone who has Asperger's syndrome. <laughs> I think it's an ass piece, like what cock piece from Death Clock. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we're getting so sidetracked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, fucking what? What are they called then? I don't know. <laughs> Autists, whatever. <laughs> wait, wait. I think I think something awful calls them Spurgs. <laughs> So many names. Yeah. <laughs> what were we talking about again? <laughs> okay, yeah. Maybe we well, can talk about Cobalt or Scrolls. Yeah. Well, sure. That also happened in Minecon, I guess. Uh, yeah, well, that. I don't know. I don't know much about Scrolls. I don't know about you guys, but uh, Scroll Scrolls is kind of a mystery to me. Still, I still don't quite understand what, what the game is about. I think Cobalt's been focused on more. To be honest, it looks generally more polished, even. Yeah, Cobalt looks like a finished game, but Scrolls just looks like some shitty prototype concept still. It's just uh, kind of fuzzy. But yeah, Scrolls, I guess it's a collectible card game, sort of like uh, Magic the Gathering or like Pokemon cards or whatever, but it's online and you sort of like battle with your cards. I'm pretty sure that idea has been around before. I can't remember what it's called, but you like bought cards in real life and then you used the code on them and it gave you like monsters on the game. Oh yeah, I remember. I don't remember the name, but I I've seen commercials for that or something. Yeah, I have no idea what the name is though. Yeah, me neither. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. But I mean, trading card games have been around for a long time, and uh, they've been around on like the PC for a long time as well. There's uh, Magic Online, of course, which is just Magic: The Gathering, the card game, except it's just completely online instead. No Yu-Gi-Oh. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Yu- Yu-Gi-Oh. D- Digimon. <laughs> They want Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, everything. Yeah, fuck yeah, it's awesome, man. I, I yeah, remember the Pokemon. Pokemon trading card game on the Game Boy. That was really fun. <laughs> what? Yeah. Game Boy? You never played that? Yeah, it was awesome, I actually, man. I, I, I actually didn't. What? What that was the shit, man? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of actually How playing you... a Pokemon game, you played the trading card game on your Game Boy. So you like collected cards and did like card battles and all that. How do you collect cards in it? Like, do you just... Like, well, you like, got packs from like if you beat someone in like a battle, then they like give you a pack of cards or something. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I understand. No, yeah, no. it was pretty interesting. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't play that. I played just normal Pokemon games. I never heard about that. Did you Did you ever have Pokemon cards? 
Yeah, I did a lot. <laughs> did you ever play with them? Uh, I actually, you, I was one of those guys who were like Pokemon and never knew how to play them. <laughs> I was like, I have this card. This is a shiny one. It's nice. Yeah, I have shiny so... Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many sad moments from the the cards. Like when I was in um, primary school before, must have been like six or eight something and someone flushed my cards down the toilet oh, oh. <laughs> poor <Cryer. laughs> I, got, I got scammed somebody traded me like really really my really really good um pokemon cards for their shitty Yu-Gi-Oh ones <laughs> oh, <bad man. laughs> oh man uh. <laughs> all right so so so, so final final thoughts on scrolls um Aspie. i I don't know if I'm looking forward to it because I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I agree. There's not that much information out yet, and I'm not looking forward to actually having to buy cards online. It depends it's, it's, the price, really. If it's like it, twenty pence or something for one, yeah, sure. Yeah, it might be interesting. I mean, I've wanted to get into on um, to uh, Magic Online for a bit now, but that's a bit too expensive for my tastes. Maybe if Scrolls can provide a similar service, then uh, sure. Apparently you're supposed but to be able to win cards as well and then be able to sell them on like an auction house, uh, that kind of stuff, which is kind of neat. And before they're really, really bad compared to the ones that you can purchase with money. <laughs> probably, probably. So I, uh, I hope not. It would be awesome if someone would actually make a game that doesn't capitalize on having to give them money to have good items. It's, yeah. Uh, it's becoming yeah. a trend and I don't like it. Pay to win. Pay to win. Yeah. Yep. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> so what? <laughs> shut, shut up. <laughs> so what do you guys think about Cobalt? I think it looks pretty good. It uh, gives me vibes of like an old game called Soldat or whatever. Yeah, and I uh, know that game. Yeah, yeah it, it seems like a bit like that, except sort of not really. But yeah, it seems kind of interesting. What do you guys I think? Know, I was just, I've pretty much only seen the Yoke's cast video of them playing it, and I don't know. That looks really awesome i think it looked like they were having fun and all the effects and slow motion and the graphics style and the art style it's really simple and it actually looks nice yeah yeah the animations are really beautiful like even though they're so simple they really work taking that into mind though i really still can't like see me investing time or money into it it looks like something that should be on xbox live arcade or something to be honest yeah, yeah, it does. I gotta admit, it looks a little bit like something you buy from Xbox Live Arcade, really. But but it but, sort of is, isn't it? It's like an indie game developed by a small studio without large amounts of resources and all that. So it kind of is, isn't it? Yeah, that's true, actually. Aren't yeah, they? It, yeah. Aren't they actually gonna put it on Live Arcade and PlayStation Network? Uh, I have no idea what they should. <laughs> yeah, do do that. Get, uh, get on it, Mojang. I'm pretty sure they they don't intend to sell DVDs with the game. It's just gonna be a downloadable game, maybe twenty bucks or something. Twenty bucks, man. It was coming for PC, right? Yeah, I I, I don't yeah. know, <laughs> but I I assume and I hope so. I mean, it seems like it would, so I will just assume that it will. It just looks like something you get together like with a bunch of bros and just smash the fuck out of each other on like Xbox or something. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it could be a lot of fun. Uh, Playing on the console for sure. Yeah. Well, because I don't know in what part the game actually is. It is this. Is it in closed beta or something? But it looks really finished from what I saw. Yeah, it looks really polished. Yeah, yeah. The the things that are in at least look really polished. I'm not sure about how much of the content is actually in yet, but uh, yeah. it looks like it could be released fairly soon. But I don't know. I mean, they they have like do they have a story mode as well or? Like yeah, campaign. yeah, I, th I think so. The trailer looked like there was a story mode in it, at least. Yeah, there's at least like an NPC in it, so yeah, maybe they're just polishing that and then they're gonna put it into beta. I don't know what the current state of it is. Yeah, I mean either. I'm not even sure if there's gonna be an external beta. I mean, maybe they do all the testing in house. Or they're just gonna do like Minecraft and it'll be in beta forever. Yeah, no, 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 no. Minecraft got released, man. It's finished. 1.0 is out. That's, that's finished. That's, honest. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the dragon. Look at the dragon. <laughs> uh, that was the whole reason. That was the whole reason why they went to Minecon and did all that shit. Just to release Minecraft, man. 1.0. And it's still kind of broken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Talking about that. The ending credits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck are... <laughs> what what were they thinking? 
let's make it mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> too, too deep for you, Lamau. <laughs> 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 oh, it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. I don't know what they were thinking. I really like how Yoxka is just bashed in the face, really. Yeah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's their convention and then just openly admit that the game's shit yeah. on the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. They also, didn't they say that in the in the panel they were doing too? Yeah. They were yeah. the end of credits turned that great, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a great game, but it... the ending's kind of bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. It's kind of funny how they're sort of like just trolling Notch on in his own convention. <laughs> hey, Notch just thought his testicles going back into his stomach the moment he, <laughs> he said that. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, apparently so... Uh... Yogg's cast, they were like signing signatures and shit, and they told some kid to fuck off. <gasps> Did you hear? That whole thing about, um, what, what were they gonna say? Fuck Notch or something? They supposedly, or allegedly, crossed out Notch's signature and then wrote fuck off or something in the place of it instead. That was, like, I'm guessing that was just a joke, like behind the scenes or something. Yeah, just it Notch, be just Notch ever... being Asperger's again and misunderstanding <laughs> everything. Yeah, it must be, because it's seriously like, Yogscast, they they use swear words and stuff, but they don't, they I don't see rich. them. Yeah, I don't see them saying something like that to a kid. No. Shiss or anything like that. Exactly. They're just English, of course they're gonna swear. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just guess it's just a lot of misinformation. Yeah. And not just side, pretty much. Because... It's not big, it's... N- yeah, not it's just big. airing all that publicly on his Twitter, like... What the fuck, man? That, really that's that's not Why? how you deal with something like that. Why didn't they just say to them in private or something? That's just... And yeah. also, the main point that people said, Las Vegas, implying people would actually not swear there. Yeah, hold a convention in, in, <laughs> in a town also known as Sin City, and then expect it to be family safe. <laughs> and he's complaining about um, children. Like, who takes children to Las Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> but, dude, that, <laughs> didn't you see those videos of Minecon? Everybody there was, like, 12. Yeah. There was just that's children that's and that annoying pink-haired Minecraft chick. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, don't get started. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get so sidetracked because I could talk about this for hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The, did you actually see the first episode of the playthrough she Yeah. Died? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 it takes her hours to figure out how to walk. I mean, seriously. Never used keyboard game before. W A S do A S do what do? Yes. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. So bad. Like you've never touched a game in your life. And somehow she got popular through that. Like what? Where are the triggers on my keyboard? Where are the triggers? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Notchy's jokes. Your opinions on that? <laughs> if you can even call them jokes. Oh, dear. No, let's just break it out and say masturbation jokes are never that good. Yeah. yeah. What, what, is, what could possibly be going through his mind? They're just like, they're just having a no- normal conversation and all of a sudden, oh yeah, by the way, Simon, thank, tell your mom thanks for the sex. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? It, it, it was kind of funny because, like, Simon and Lewis were being sort of awkward on purpose, like, sort of like pretending that it was awkward, and then not just says that entirely seriously, and it's just, oh, so it's just awkward. Like quadrupled the awkward level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That entire uh, interview, man. That, that interview was half an hour, and it felt like watching an entire season of Curb Your Enthusiasm, <laughs> like, at once. So much awkward. Holy shit. While sitting in a bath of lava, I was getting my face was just fuming. I was yeah. just like, I, was, <laughs> I felt really bad for the Yogg's cast crew there. Yeah, it must people have... seriously need to watch that video. If you need to, if you want to watch something really, really awkward, just watch it. It's it's so good. It's because it's so awkward. It's brilliant. It's so funny because it's so unfunny. Like it's like art. <laughs> it's it's an art form. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, trolling is a art. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, anyway, speaking of uh, Minecraft being finished and all that, uh, apparently Notch is now leaving Minecraft development. Permanent holiday in Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is, didn't he, like, write on his Twitter, like, after the 
like the arguments with Yogscast, like I need to go on holiday soon or something, and then he's like, yeah. He's talking about like how he's been playing so much Skyrim. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> not just hey, get you guys want to hear a really funny joke? Not just work oh, ethics. <laughs> and that's the joke. And before he buys his own island now, he's just took, he's took his guy. He's made his money now. He's off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take the money and run. Again. Yeah. yeah. But I I really I'm kind of annoyed because I would have wanted to see what Notch could have actually done if he could have. If he would just would have worked on it as much as he did before all the publicity and stuff. Yeah, Minecraft had the potential to be a really, really interesting game, but then it just kind of fell apart. Yeah, because it well, of course, people who play the game continue playing the game because well, nothing's really changed. So yeah, it's a sandbox game, like it doesn't. And of course, there's always 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 the community matters. Yeah, they, they. You can only go so far with that, though, really. It's, yeah, that's true. It's not going to change the game entirely. I wonder, not not just step down, is it a, how many updates are there going to be? Like, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Jeb is going to be continuing to work on it, I think. So uh, it's going to keep being updated according to uh, his Twitter and all that, at least. Like what roles is Notch doing um, now for the new projects? Like, How much of a say is he having in them now? I don't think he actually has that much uh, influence over those projects. Maybe just like some design, like being in some of the meetings and all that. But he definitely doesn't have like an overarching role in any of those projects. Yeah. He's he's just kind of the head man of Mojang. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's not the CEO though, but yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm sort of I'm sort of curious to see what he's going to do next cuz he said he's going to move on to new projects. So I mean uh... Even though I don't like what he's done recently, I'm still kind of curious to see what he'll do next, you know? Yeah, I, I can imagine him doing do something interesting, really. I know, I, can, I can't say he's bad. No, he's, a, point. he's just lazy. And anyway, should we uh, move on? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Okay, so the next thing we can discuss, I guess, is going to be a short topic. And many people might not have heard of it, but Iran actually banned Battlefield 3 from being sold, even though the game wasn't actually for sale in their country. Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. I guess there was some sort of petition or something to get Battlefield 3 banned, just because uh, they were fighting in Iran in part of the campaign or something. But the game was never actually even sold there, so every... Every copy of the game that was ever sold in Iran was a pirated one. The way what makes e it even weird is the um, that the people like petitioning it are actually like teenagers. Yeah, it, it's not like the you know moral elite old people trying to ban it, but actually like <laughs> teenagers. That's just really weird. It's uh, it's kind of weird thinking what kind of what people think of games in those countries. Yeah, like yeah. because they must have some kind of different way of thinking about it because well youth in any other like European country or yeah in, know, in a European in country that it would be like the old people or you know the conservatives trying to ban something and the youth protesting it yeah but that part of the world is kind of renowned for being <laughs> kind of <laughs> minded and strict. yeah yeah <laughs> so, I mean it, it is sort of like you know an, uh, a western game corrupting their yeah. pure little innocent Islam minds yeah, yeah. I I just thought it was funny. Like EA reacted by saying that Battlefield Three wasn't even available in Iran to begin with. I kind of also, I can understand it in a way because of course the main topics and things about Battlefield and Call of Duty and stuff like this. Uh, shoot brown it, people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shoot, shoot, point. shoot some, shoot some brown people. Shooting some brown peoples. Uh, that reminds me as well of um, the Modern Warfare Three petitions that were going on um, about um, what was it breaking constitutions and things about uh, yeah. Yeah. Black mines. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right, uh, the uh, <laughs> international war laws or whatever. Like the they want to sue Modern Warfare Three as a war criminal because they use landmines and like other banned weapons. It's oh it's so stupid. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like they were using like footage from an old Call of Duty game as well. Like, of a tank shooting like an ambulance and how to get zero points. They were just doing it for fun. Yeah. It was just so ridiculous. Oh, and blown God. out of proportion. 
Oh, people who can't separate fantasy from reality, man, they're just oh, they're just so stupid. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, it happens a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, I'm not saying it happens a lot. Like I'm not blaming video games. I'm just blaming people thinking it's video games. It's no video games don't turn people into psychos. It's not video games. There have actually been like studies and things showing that um, most games actually increase intelligence rather than making people like close-minded and things as the media likes to try and say. Yeah, I mean the media is just demonizing games every day. It's just silly. And I, there's so many news about how the politicians in England actually have a lot of. They have something against games. Seriously. There's so many different petitions on banning some games and banning soundtracks to games and stupid stuff like that. Yeah, I think they're just trying to copy off America, you know, land of the free. (laughs) 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 Oh my god, Uh, oh dear, yeah. Speaking of blaming video games, did you guys see the news article where where this guy, um, he was nearly decapitated apparently, and... uh, Police are now searching through his video game collection to find a reason as to why he got decapitated. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> uh, Assassin's Creed having an execution scene in it. Like, how did they think that would be related? Like, because it's not even a multiplayer game, so it's not like someone else could have could have like done that to him, or he could have done it to someone else. Yeah, it's ah, oh, police are just stupid sometimes, man. Well, of course, the Assassin's Creed has multiplayer, but it has no decapitation or anything like that. But but it has something like that, no decapitation, let's just say it like that. Yeah, but... but uh, I mean... Uh, oh, if... but... Okay, you, you say, you go. Yeah, yeah, still... Uh, it's... Uh, what does that actually think... Why do they think it somehow helps them? Like, now they can narrow down it to people who have Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they like traced his like internet um, history or something, fair enough, because they might he might have been talking to the wrong crowd or something. Yeah, but... sure. If there were like chat logs in the games or something like that, maybe like yeah, yeah, they could like break into his Xbox Live account and look at his chat logs or something. But the games itself is ridiculous. Like, what are yeah. they to find? <laughs> and of course, it's the only game which have a de- has a decapitation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's no ca- it's just anything. really weird though because he didn't decapitate someone he was decapitated i mean <laughs> i i think it's a feasible jump in logic that if you like interested in decapitations and play a lot of video games with decapitations perhaps you would perform a decapitation at some point or something if you're delusional or whatever but and before he cut his own head off <laughs> <laughs> that's why they can't find any witnesses so that's why there's <laughs> no <laughs> This, this just in, Assassin's Creed makes you cut your own head off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. Love that. Yeah, you didn't know that? Like, in the tra- in this, the spoken trailer, if you play it backwards, it actually says, cut your own head off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Subliminal messages all over that game, man. I, that- I, 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 I mean, the article does say that the police were sort of out of options. They can't find anything. They've, like, looked at the surveillance footage and, like... They they can't find anything of it. So, I mean, it's still really far-fetched to go, like, look at his online video game collection or whatever. It's just weird. And it's also news like this make people in court say video games did it. Yeah. Because, because seriously, if police start saying that they're searching video games for clues, yeah. and, and it has happened before that people in court say they played, well, GTA, and yeah. that's because... And that's why they killed the people, because it was GTA, and GTA is evil and stuff. Obviously. But yeah, <laughs> the the title of the article as well is like, Decapitated Murder Victim was, an, was a Keen Online Gamer. Like that, <laughs> yeah. like it's connected somehow. It, it just frustrates me, man. It just frustrates me. My face when the evidence points towards it being a machete as well. Yeah. <laughs> Curved swords. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was playing Skyrim after all. Yeah, maybe he was. There are decapitation scenes in Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah, curved swords, man. Uh, <laughs> curved yeah. swords. Yeah. I hope they listen to this. This will keep them some clues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Wow. This just updated. They found an arrow in his knee. <laughs> <laughs> 
I used to be a keen online gamer, then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Dear. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. It's kind of hard to say anything else about the subject because it's something that you can't really conclude anything on. Yeah. So let's move yeah. on then. Yeah. We will be introducing the mailbag segment. Yeah. The mailbag segment. <laughs> mailbag. <laughs> it's time for mailbag. Mailbag! Yeah, yeah, that's a good intro. Unfortunately, though, we don't have any mail since this is our first episode. But, yeah, please send all your mail to us. You can. <laughs> Give us all your mail. Send us your mailbags. That's spelled A L E. <laughs> your mailbags, no. oh dear. <laughs> we can answer questions. If anyone wants to ask something like, general video gaming or issues related to video gaming just just send it to us we we are interested in this <laughs> yeah exactly the point of this segment is obviously to answer some viewer questions or to talk about viewer topics um or listener maybe i don't know uh yeah so if you have anything you'd like us to discuss just uh, post it in a comment or just send an email to uh, dopelives at gmail.com and uh we might bring it up in the next episode and of course, the links for what we've been talking about will be below, so you can check them out for yourself. Yep, oh, of course. Anyway, I guess that's it for the first episode. Uh, have you guys got anything to add? Uh, just tell us what you think. Do you want more? <laughs> yeah. Did you because Did you enjoy listening to this? Did you enjoy listening to our rambling? Um... <laughs> if you think um, Shimmery is obnoxious as fuck, just post in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, send all your Dota 2 keys to Kraya. Yeah. <laughs> Very much appreciated. <laughs> or he might decapitate someone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Well, bye bye.